interested in finding and through this speech, I'm going to be telling you about Otto Jackson. Uh, not only was he a professional in one sport, but he was a dual professional athlete in two sports, football and baseball. Uh, he was born on November 30th, 1962 in Bessemer, Alabama. Uh, his original name is Vincent Edward Jackson. Uh, he was a really bad child, so the reason why uh, he was he's called Bo now is that his uh, brothers always called him a wild boar because of the way he acted. So in wild boar, this became sh short in the boat. Um, he was sent to reform school at a young age, and there is where he devoted all his time and work to athletics and education. At the age of 13, he played in the Industrial League Investment, which is the baseball league that they have down there, which he was playing against grown men. Um, not only did he catch the attention of Major League Scouts out of high school, which are where the New York Yankees he caught the eye of college scouts too. Uh, he turned down the New York Yankees to go play three sports at Auburn University. He played football, ran track and field, and played baseball. Um, according to Heisman.com, his freshman year, Bo averaged 6.4 yards per rush, sprinted a 6.18 second. 60-yard dash for the track and field team and hit 279 as the starting center fielder for the baseball team. Uh, he won the Heisman in 1985, and that year he led his team to a Sugar Bowl victory. Uh, and he also led the nation in touchdowns, yards per game, average yards per carry, and total yards per year. Um, even with track and field and baseball uh, combining with each other, uh, he was still drafted by the Kansas City Royals out of college. Um, he was drafted by the Kansas City Royals in 1986. Uh, he played for the Royals, the Chicago White Sox, and the California Angels throughout his entire career. Um, he was the 1989 All-Star Game MVP. He had a 20. He had four 20 home run seasons. Um, and he also tied the record for most consecutive at-bat home runs with four. So he got to bat four times, and each of those four times he hit home runs in a row, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. Um, the first year, he was actually drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the first round, and he turned them down to go play baseball for the Kansas City Royals, like I said. Um, if you can imagine how bad the Buccaneers would have been to waste their first round pick on somebody that just turned them down. Probably pretty weird. Um, the next year, the Oakland Raiders drafted him in the seventh round, just as kind of a, you know, go for it. We'll see if he does it or not. Uh, that year, he actually did accept their offer, and he became a dual professional athlete. Um, that was in 1987 when he got drafted by the Raiders. Uh, he also became known, well known, for his Bono's Nike campaign. It would be like Bono's basketball, Bono's track, Bono's hockey. He was just thought of this, thought of as this, you know, incredible person that could do much, pretty much anything in the world that he wanted to. Which, by how athletic he was, he probably could have tried. Um, his rookie year, he broke the Monday Night Football record with 221 rushing yards. Um, he also was the NFL's rookie of the year that year too. Um, he spent four seasons in the NFL after being sidelined with an injury. Um, the end of Bo was actually quite sad. Uh, it wasn't on a you know devastating tackle or anything. It was on an average hit. As you can see right here, that's all it was. It wasn't anything, you know, it wasn't a big hit or anything. He just uh, landed awkwardly on his leg. His leg was put in an awkward position. And it caused his hip to pop out of place. And when he hit the ground and rolled back over, it popped back in. Um, all of a sudden, uh, according to um, Flatter's article, Bo knows starting with disappointment. He knew, Bo Jackson knew that there was something wrong that that moment, but nobody thought that, you know, that even happened to him. They thought that he was just, he had like a hit pointer or something or it was bruised, but that wasn't the case. Uh, that condition developed into vascular necrosis. Uh, what happens there is that all the blood, all the blood supply was severed from that from his hip, and that caused the cartilage and the bone to actually deteriorate. This eventually led to uh, for him to get a hip replacement and caused him to drop, drop out of sports 
at that time that people thought forever. Um, obviously, with hip replacement, he couldn't go back to football even if he wanted to. However, he did try to make a comeback for baseball. Uh, he was signed in 1991 by the Chicago White Sox. Uh, this caused him to be the first pro athlete to ever, in any sport, to ever play a professional game with a with an artificial head. Um, nobody really wanted to see, you know, Bo Jackson's career come to an end like that because, in my eyes, he could have been a Hall of Famer in two sports, which has never been done before. But yeah. Uh, basically, his injury was pretty much like a cliffhanger to a movie. You know, you didn't know if he was going to come back or what he could have been. It was just end up just like that. Um, not a lot of people really recognize him to be one of the best because he only played four years in the NFL. But in my eyes, he always will be and is the best running back to ever play the game. Um, like I said earlier, nobody wanted uh, his career, the Bo Knows campaign, to end, but sadly, it had. Thank you.